This discussion is about labor and unions and issues for workers in the late 1800s. Um, this is uh, this idea is uh, this identification is on Leonora Berry, 1849 through 1923. So uh, Leonor Leonora Berry uh, was uh, from Ireland. Um, she actually grew up. Um, is the poor daughter of a impoverished daughter of of an Irish immigrant who had escaped the potato famine in Ireland to come to the United States. So the potato famine is in this mentioned in this newspaper article. I'm not going to get too much into it, but it was. A huge problem in Ireland. Much of the crops were uh, destroyed, and potato was the main crop in Ireland, leaving starvation all over all over the country. So many many uh, immigrants came from Ireland to the United States. So uh, I could mention here the the thing about uh, immigration and migration. So when you have uh, push and pull, like um, is mentioned in migration history, um, this would be a push. Uh, People um, partially appalled too, but pushed out of Ireland from the potato famine. So her family came to the United States um, to escape poverty in, in Ireland. Uh, but, but they also encountered many problems here um, when they arrived in the United States. Okay, so that, that's her background. She grew up um, as someone struggling and from a struggling family. So, um, and that really is important as, as to uh, the situation she was in. She worked briefly as a teacher. Then she um, she left teaching when she got married, and but her husband also died young. Um, so she became a manual laborer and worked at a, a, a hosiery factory, uh, stockings, and... Uh, really a tremendous long hour, 70 hours a week, and an 11 cents an hour. And even back in the 1800s, 11 cents an hour is, is not good, is low wages. So um, she joined, and we talked about unions. We, she, she joined the Knights of Labor, um, who was representing um, workers um, and female workers also and she worked her way up in the union. Uh, eventually, she moved away from the hard labor and got a job as an investigator for the Knights of Labor to investigate working conditions for women in factories. Uh, and certainly women, certainly women in factories needed, needed uh, someone to investigate and to advocate for their rights. Um, so um, when uh, uh, Barry... Um, investigated and found uh, not only long working hours, dangerous working conditions. Um, she wrote uh, many written reports of, you know, the low wages and the uh, bad health situations. And, and she uh, reported back to the Knights of Labor, who was, in a sense, a union um, trying to uh, protect the rights of, of, uh, of workers. So uh, Barry specialized in, in women's work, workers, and and she uh, was successful to some extent in in trying to bring um, better um, rights for women. But still, there was as workers, but still there was a, a long way to go. So um, the Knights of Labor is is the group that uh, we have talked about previously, and that's who she was. An investigator for it, and after after that, she actually went into uh, other causes too. Um, women's suffrage, you know, with working for the right for uh, the vote for women, and and much of that was driven for her, so that workers would, if if women would get the right to vote, then then they could vote for candidates who would support the rights of of workers and support the rights of uh, women workers. And she was also concerned about alcohol abuse 
early death from alcohol, domestic abuse related to alcohol. And, and those were th some of the things that she worked on when she joined the, 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 the Temperance Union. Um, okay, so all in all though, she was uh, an investigator for um, the Knights of Labor and worked for uh, uh, women's rights and, and workers' rights in, in general also. And she, um, I think that, that about covers uh, Leona uh, Berry, um, 1849 to 1923.